An overcapacity crowd flogged the world's famous GCC ground board at the witness the GFA Bangs bare knuckled soccer finals between Sombers Campton of Camberville and Mocha Champs Rhythm Squad. Both teams displayed exciting football and energetic and hype game, much to the approval of the crowd. In the end, the Camberville team, Sombers Campton, was $4 million winner after edging out Rhythm Squad two goals to nil. It was jubilation in the Sombers camp as the players recall what led to the goals. I think we play discipline. Go back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go back to the training field. And we come out victorious. Work hard. Hard work all the time. This is beautiful. Eh? This is hard work with a lot of pain. Right? So I got much say congratulations to the team. Right? I really work hard. I really push them to the max. And I think it's a deserved win. No goal hasn't scored against we. We just play like a champion. And we did deserve, deserve the victory tonight. Meanwhile, with them squad who surprised many to reach this far in the tournament was gracious in defeat. We still got to thank the fire that we reach here so safe so far. And we accept it we get. We, why well, we got those put up behind me and play more hard? Because we beat ourselves. You understand me? We beat ourselves. And the Army boys were pulled in line by Northern Rangers three goals to one in the third place action. GDF, one of the favorites of the tournament, failed to break ranks on the Rangers' defense. This is the second edition of the GFA Banks competition, and already patrons are looking forward to next year. And it was down to the wire at the National Stadium as Boxing United and Amelia's World Battle for Top Honors in the 23rd edition of the Kashi and Shanghai Football Competition. After playing to a goalless draw at the end of regulation and extra time, the East Coast team came out on top in the penalty shootout. Watched by a fair-sized crowd, both teams gave a good account of themselves, but failed to make the score. The third place action saw Alfred Hammer United defeating Pili three goals to one. Dwayne Jacobs from Buxton was adjudged the MVP of the tournament and drove away with a brand new car courtesy of Bihari Automotive Limited. Already the organizers are looking at reforming the competition for next year. What we're going to be doing next year, God's willing, is we're going to make the tournament into 24 teams. And um, we're going to have preliminary stages where teams going to got to play like a wrong robin and then the top from each group then we're going to select them to be the final 16 and then we're going to go right down we're going to be playing in um Bartico next year we're going to be playing more games on the east coast georgetown linden up Barbies. so all in all we're going to have um, more games being played and then we go into the final 16 and after the final 16 it's showtime once again after football entertainment drew large crowd of border with band song, King, Daily Man, dishing out some of his hit songs. And at the National Stadium, it was a more subdued atmosphere. Movado also had the crowd there in a frenzy.